Hi, how's it going class? My name is Joe Garcia. Today I'll be doing my final presentation on jumping up and reaching for a rebound in basketball. This is going to be for the lower extremity. Okay, for origin and insertion, we're going to begin with the hamstrings. Uh, they have approximately 30% contribution in jumping. Okay, so we have three muscles here, starting off with the bicep fulmoris. Okay, the origin is going to be the lateral lip of the linea aspera, lateral supracondyle ridge of the femur, and lateral intramuscular septum of the thigh. Insertion is going to primarily be on the figure head, also on the lateral collateral ligament and lateral tibial condyle. Okay, so for the semi membranosis, origin is going to be on the supralateral impression of the ischial tuberosity, and the insertion is going to be on the medial condyle of the tibia. Okay. And then for our last muscle here, semitendinosis, origin is going to be on the ischial tuberosity, and insertion is going to be on the proximal end of tibia below the medial condyle. Okay, so also involved in jumping, we're going to have your calf muscles. It's estimated that calves generate about 20% power to make you jump higher. Okay, so the origin is going to be on the medial head. Medial head is going to be on the posterior part of the medial condyle and adjoining part of the femur. Lateral head, the lateral condyle and the adjoining part of the femur. Insertion, the calcaneus via the Achilles tendon. Okay, so for the soleus, the origin of the soleus originates in two places and inserts in one. It originates at the posterior side of the fibula, back at the smaller shin bone, as well as the posterior, pos, posterior side of the tibia, back of the bigger shin bone. And this is also going to insert in the posterior part of the calcaneus. Okay, so then we also have gluteus maximus. They're going to help you transfer the energy from the lower body to the upper part, which makes you jump higher. The origin attaches to the superior gluteal line of the ilium, the posterior surface of the sacrum, and the side of the coccyx and length of the sacrotuberous ligament. The insertion is going to attach to the tibial tract, and the deeper fibers are inserted into the gluteal tuberosity of the femur. Okay, so for the last muscle here, we have the tensor fasciae latte. Right, this is also going to help you for when you land after you finish your jump. Okay, the origin is going to originate from the anterior iliac crest, connecting to the anterior superior iliac spine. Insertion is going to insert, insert into the iliotibial tract, which itself connects to the lateral condyle of the tibia. Okay. So movement and muscle action is possible. So for the preparatory stage, okay, this is where, uh, right before you begin, where the ankle plantar flexors or gastrocnemius muscles in the calf and soleus plantar flex tense to prepare for launching. You can see here, demonstrated by the picture on the right. All right. So for the second stage, it's going to be the launch phase where the hip extensors, the hamstrings, gluteus maximus combine and the knee extensions extend the knees to allow the body to launch into the air. Okay, and then final stage is going to be the landing phase while the muscles embrace impact and allow for the body to return to a resting position. Okay, so for your agonist and antagonist muscles, um, one of the pairs here, we're gonna have hamstring and quadriceps. Okay, the movement is gonna be flexion and extension. So whenever the hamstrings are going to flex, uh, your quadriceps are going to do the opposite. I have an example there. Okay, strengthening exercises. Uh, something you could do to help you improve your jumping. Uh, you could start with hip thrusts. Okay, to do this, you're going to make sure you push through the heels. You should share vertical shins at the top of the movement. You're going to keep your knees out. Achieve full hip extension. Slightly posterior tilt with the pelvis. And then once you reach the top, you're gonna wanna give it a good pause and squeeze the glutes. Okay, so you're gonna do this for about four sets and sit around 10 to 15 repetitions. Okay, so for our second strengthening exercises, you're gonna wanna do lunges. 
Stand with your feet together and your hands by your sides on your hips or in prayer position in front of your chest. Step your right leg back, keeping both toes facing forward. Bend your left knee, keeping your knee directly over your ankle. Your right heel should be lifted off the ground and your right knee should be hovering above the ground. Keep your abs tight and lean your chest forward slightly to work your glutes. So you're gonna to wanna to hold this for one or two seconds and return to standing position. Okay, for this, you're gonna to wanna to repeat 10 to 15 times. I'm gonna alternate each side for about a few sets. Okay, so for our stretches that are gonna help you with your jumping, we're gonna start off with a seated hamstring stretch. Okay, you're gonna tuck your foot into your other leg and place your other leg straight and in front of you. Then you're gonna keep your foot flexed backwards by pulling your toes toward your knee. Do not point your toe away from you. Okay, now for this one, you're gonna hold the position for about 15 to 30 seconds, and then you're gonna to wanna to switch your legs. Okay, so second stretch we have here is gonna be a seated cross stretch. Okay, used to stretch glutes and a bit of the iliotibial band. So you're gonna take one foot and cross it on top of your other leg, just above your knee, and with the leg that you're standing on, simply start sitting towards the floor. Okay, so this works with any chair that you find around the house. You're gonna hold this stretch for about 15 to 30 seconds, and then you're gonna alternate the legs. Okay, so for progression and regression, uh, for one of the strengthening exercises, uh, for the lunges, if you wanna progress, you're gonna to wanna to hold dumbbells in your hands while you're performing the lunges. Um, to regress, just do fewer repetitions. Uh, for stretching, um, here, for an example, we have the seated hamstring stretch for progression. Uh, if you really want to get more into it, have your forehead touch your knee. And then for regression, if you can't quite reach all the way to your foot, you can use a towel to wrap around your foot. And it's going to help you pull towards your knee. Okay. Common injuries we have here. Um, common injuries include patella or quadriceps tendon tears, as well as other ligament and cartilage tears. This happens from a repetitive jumping and can lead to the tendonitis of the patella tendon. Surgical repair is required and is recommended within a few weeks of injury. Treatment involves rest from aggravating activity in addition to anti-inflammatory medication and rehabilitation. We have an example there, you can see the tear. You have to uh, perform surgery so that way they can put in the staples to make sure that recovers properly. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you.